Today we will see another topic in the computer graphics that is the 3D transformation in the computer graphics. So in this video I am going to cover what exactly the 3D transformation is and what are the properties of the 3D transformation and the different types of transformations are there, rotation, scaling, translation, okay sharing. So we will uh, we'll discuss about those concepts with an example. Okay. So first of all let's see what exactly the 3D transformation is. Before going to understand the 3D transformation, let's have a look on what is transformation. You all know the general meaning of the transformation. Transformation is nothing but it's a way of modifying or changing the position of an existing object in a computer graphic. If any object is there on a computer screen, so if you want to change the position of that object, okay, so then uh, we will go uh, use the transformation technique. A 3D transformation is going to manipulate the view of a 3D object. So whatever the object that we are using, it is going to change the view of that object. Okay. So based on its original position, this is uh, important. So we have to focus on the concentrate on the original position. Based on that original position, that 3D object is going to be manipulated. Means it's changing its position. It's, cha it's modifying its position based on the original position. By simply modifying the physical attributes of that object by using various methods of transformation like translation, rotation, scaling, sharing, etc. Okay, so see here this is an uh, object on a 3D plane. Okay, this is a 3D object. So this 3D object is having a coordinates. So if you see here, a different coordinates are there. Okay. This is the original points. So based on the original position, this object is going to be change its uh, uh, position. Like it is manipulating the view of a 3D object. Okay. So now let's see the properties of the 3D transformation. The lines are maintain their existing state. Okay. Whatever the lines that are there. So these, these lines are preserved. Okay. They are maintain their existing state. Location of the object with respect to others can easily be expressed. And parallelism maintains their original state. Whatever the parallelism is, so that is also going to preserve its state. And uh, proportional distance are also preserved. So these are all the properties of the 3D transformation. Lines, location, parallelism and proportional. So these are all are preserved. Then coming to the features of the 3D transformation. The 3D transformation can be drawn on 3D plane. So the 3D transformation is going to drawn on 3D plane. So these are complex than 2D transformation. So when compared to the 2D transformation, obviously 3D transformation is somewhat complex because we are representing every object in a 3D graphics rather than in the 2D plane. 2D tra 3D transformations are very important and helpful in changing the shape of an object, size of an object, position of an object, etc. Now coming to the different types of the transformations. The different types of transformations that are used in the computer graphics are translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the reflection. So now let's try to understand each and every uh, type of transformation with the concept. First of all, let's have a look on what is this translation. Translation means changing the relative location of a 3D object. It's just changing the relative location, whatever it is that the 3D object, that location is going to be changed. With respect to the original position, whatever the translation, whatever the transformation is you are taking, everything it's based on, it's the, uh, with respect to the original position only. By simply changing its coordinates. This translation is similar to 2D translation only, but it moves the object on different positions on the screen. So the matrix that we are using in the 3D uh, in 3D image that is that for translation is. So this is a 3D uh, matrix representation. So here the dx, dy and dz. So these dx, dy, dz are nothing but the translation distance means how much the object is going to be translated based on the original position. So this is dx, dy and dz or the translation distances. Translation distances. How much the uh, object is going to be uh, moved, modify its position 
with respect to x axis with respect to y axis and with respect to z axis okay so see here this is an example so in this example this is a original uh, before translation the object is looks like this but after translation means it is trying to change its coordinates so whatever the coordinates that is the x axis coordinates the x axis coordinates and the y axis coordinates and z axis coordinates are changed with respect to their original position okay so this object is translated like this so this is the after translation and before translation so for this translation we need to apply a matrix okay and we have to calculate the distance how much it is going to be changed and that has to be represented on a 3d plane okay now coming to the rotation so what is this rotation the 3d rotates the objects based on an angle in three dimensional environment so uh, here the rotation is mainly focusing on the angle this point you have to be remember that the object is going to rotate based on the angle that is the rotation about x axis and the y axis and the z axis everything is based on the angles so based on how much angle the object has to be modified there its original position a 3d rotation deals with three axes that is x y and z axis and it is not same as a 2d rotation remember student translation is same as a 2d translation only but the 3d of rotation is not same as the 2d rotation here in the 3d objects can rotate and uh, of a uh, parallel rotate parallel to a specific axis it is going to rotate to a specific axis so that the coordinates where the object rotates remains unchanged remains unchanged and the, uh, when compared to the uh, remaining two gets changed whatever the uh, specific axis we are taking so that the coordinates where the object rotates remains unchanged so one axis is going to be remain unchanged and the remaining two axis will be going to be changed so generally there are three kinds of such rotations or the rotation about x axis y axis and z axis i will explain you now rotation about the x axis so if you consider if you want to rotate the object based on the x axis considering the original points here x coordinates remains unchanged means x is not changed x is not changed and the rest of the two axes two coordinates y and z coordinates are going to change coordinates are change okay so the x coordinates remains unchanged and the rest of the two coordinates the y and z are going to be changed it, it rotates parallel to the x axis rotate about the x axis means it's parallel to the x axis in the same way rotation about y axis means it rotates parallel to the y axis and here the y remains unchanged means it is not changed and rest of the two x and z whatever the x and z are changed those two coordinates are changed and the same with the rotation about the z axis here the coordinates remains unchanged and the rest of two coordinates x and y are changed and it is parallel to the z axis okay it is parallel to the z axis now coming to the scaling concept using scaling we can change the size of an object if you want to change the size of an object we can use the scaling uh, concept that means we can increase the object size and also we can reduce the object size whatever the object is there so this is your original object if if you want you can increase the object size suppose this is your uh, original object you can reduce the object size by using the scaling technique here the objects can be altered in any of the uh, x y z uh, directions through x s x s y and s z these are all called scaling factors so if you see in the matrix representation so s x s y s z and this is a one so here s x s y s z are the scaling factors so see here in this diagram so this is your original before scaling so here i am trying to after scaling what what my objects so before the uh, the x coordinate or uh, coordinates are 0 0 0 4 and this will become 0 0 0 8 and here 4 0 0 and this is 8 0 0 8 8 0 8 okay 
and here this also becomes instead of 4 it becomes 800 and instead of 4 it becomes 8 comma 12 comma 0 that means what it implies what it implies okay so here this is the original and here the object is increased its size increased its size the object whatever the object it says that object size is increased after scaling now coming to the next concept that is a sharing. It is used to slant the object in 3D plane either in X, Y or in Z direction. So whatever the object is there, that object is going to be slant. So suppose this is an object. So this object is going to be slant. Okay. Like it's changing its position by slanting either to the X axis or to the Y axis or to the Z axis, Z direction. It shapes the changes of the object. The different types of sharing transformations are x direction, y direction and z direction. So see here in the x chord uh, sharing in x direction means x remains unchanged. X is unchanged and what about the y and z coordinates? Y and z coordinates are going to be changed. Okay, the matrix that we are using here is this. With the help of this matrix, the sharing transformation can be done in x direction. Suppose if you want to work on the y direction, if you want to tilt your object to the y direction, so here the y remains unchanged. Y unchanged and coming to x and z. So this is y and z, sorry. This is y and z. And x and z are changed. So it can be done through the matrix representation. So this is a matrix representation for sharing in the y direction. And if you come into the sharing in the z direction, z remains unchanged. Z is unchanged. And whereas x and y coordinates are changed. So the matrix that can be used, uh, it is done through the transformation matrix. This is the sharing in z direction. So see here in the picture, so this is my object before sharing and after sharing. So this is the object. So here the object is till to the, till to the y direction. So it is just till to the y direction. Now coming to the last type of transformation that is a reflection. Reflection, the word itself it is saying it's a mirror image of an object. If you are going to see anything on the mirror, it's a reflection, ref uh, reflecting. Okay, mirror image. There are three kinds of reflections are possible in 3D space. That is reflection along XY plane, YZ plane and XZ plane. Suppose if you consider the first one reflection along the XY plane. What do you mean by that? The reflection transformation matrix is used to perform the reflection operation over the 3D image. This is the matrix. So you need to remember that matrix. So the reflection along XY plane. So this is a 3D plane. So in the 3D plane, it, uh, this is a mirror image. So this mirror image is, this whatever the Y is there, okay, whatever this uh, line is there, so this will be reflected here. So this is XY plane, XY plane. And if you go with the reflection along the YZ plane, so this is the matrix that we used for the YZ plane. So the mirror image, whatever the YZ is there. So this is Y and the Z, whatever the X that will be mirror image. So this, this, this YZ is going to be mirror image. X is remain same. So here the X, whatever the X is there, that it remains the same. That YZ is reflecting here. The YZ is reflecting in the mirror image. And coming to the reflection around XZ plane. Okay. XZ plane x z plane so the mirror image of this x z plane is shown here so if you see this mirror image this is like this whatever the y is there that will be appear here and this will be tilt and this is y x z plane so this is about the reflections uh, so these are the different types of the transformation so uh, still uh, i think you will get a clarity on what exactly the terms uh, first, here I just explain the body, what are those terms, reflection, sharing, rotation, transforming, translation, okay, scaling, sharing. So, I hope you understand. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.